Geminis! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Jade. This is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. I'm going to clear the resonance. Yes, okay. So, Geminis. This is going to be your reading for the second half of May going into June 2020, okay? Whatever messages need to come out for Geminis are going to come out, hopefully, right? Take um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, okay? Gemini, anywhere in your chart, really. But please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not, as it's not going to resonate for every single Gemini, okay? Um, I want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers and viewers, old and new. Thank you guys so much for being here. It means literally the world to me. Thank you. And thank you to those of you who order personal readings. And if you are interested in one, you can check the description box below, as well as information on my other social media channels, okay? I have platforms, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> wow. Let's, let's hold on. I want to make sure this is the correct one for Gemini's. All right. All right. Let me get into it, Gemini. Angels, spirits, and guides, show me what I need to see for my Gemini people, please, for May going into June. For their highest good, for my Gemini people. Okay, the thinking man. It's a 46, it reduces down to a 10. And we also have the world on the bottom, okay? Which is a 29 and can reduce down to an 11. So 10 to 11, that's like the ending or possibly the starting of a new cycle, Gemini. Let's get... Show me one, please, about this uh, situation for Geminis. Let me shuffle this deck, too. I feel like it needs a good shuffle or two. something you're thinking about Gemini's right but what else is new you're an air sign right in your head a lot Wow interesting all right so these came out together we got harmony came out with heartache and loss all right Gemini so this could definitely indicate that some union could be coming to a close. Oh my God, it was eerie. This one is a six and this one is a three. And as soon as I noticed that when both these fall out, the first thing I heard was it's like half. It's been halved. It's been halved. Like as in uh, what was once whole is now half. But people are whole entities in themselves. So what was... Um, a six is now a three, okay? But we are each whole individuals unto ourselves. So you might be um, reminiscing about this harmony um, or this heartache and loss. We also have throat chakra, which is a five. And throat chakra is all about speaking, needing to speak a truth. Show me more about this situation. Hold on. No, no, no. That was like way too many. Hold on. I gotta shuffle. For my Gemini people, for their highest good, please. Make it clear. Thank you. Five of Cups. Sadness, loss, regret. I believe that might be the same as this. Yeah. Here's this high priestess energy, though. Highly intuitive, right? Highly intuitive. Wow. We have temperance on the bottom, which is also Sagittarius. Does not have to be, but it shows a lot of patience um, and tempering your energy here. The unknown card came out literally on top of the high priestess. This can indicate... Um, deep intuition, perhaps getting messages in your dreams, um, perhaps doing your own tarot readings, communicating with your spirit guides, your angels. Um, that also can indicate that there are several different ways things can go here. Okay. Right. We have this four of cups in which 
one cup is blossoming quite nicely. She's examining it. All right, let's see what we could find out with the Lenormand. Show me a little more with the Lenormand, please. I feel like whatever two sides of this there are, though, um, I feel like it's 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 mutual on both ends. Because on this end, we have this thinking man, and on this side, there's just the feminine, and then what's in the middle is the harmony card, because that's the, the harmony was here, heartache and loss was here. So that's how I laid them out, and I'm seeing it as a very dualistic thing here. So if this is how you're feeling about somebody, I do feel strongly they are reciprocating the feelings. Although with this rods coming out, this could be something that's happened repeatedly, some type of cycle that repeats over and over, or maybe there was too much fighting, communication. Yes, and somebody seems to be moving forward, moving on, possibly into the unknown, trusting their intuition, right? Trusting their internal guidance. Um, yeah, it's there's a lot of worry and anxiety. Here's the mice. And the clouds is on the bottom, which can also indicate confusion and being unclear. But guess what fell out with that? The key. Okay. There is a key. Yeah. Make sure um, you're not over stressing because it can definitely lead to, to bad health. Or you might be feeling very strongly like somebody has bad health or you need to go maybe um, be with them. You may have also lost somebody due to bad health. And if that is your case, I am so sorry. Yeah, there was there's expectation and message here. Um, somebody could have been expecting a message um, or you could be expecting this message. Show me what this key is, and then we'll... Okay, so the key is communication. I did see a letter through the keyhole, but I wanted to be sure. This is the Eight of Wands. There's, you definitely are going to need to communicate, and again, throat chakra. Oh, geez, an emotional loss is underneath that. Whatever is happening, please, please open up and talk to people you can trust, okay? This could really, really make you sick. Yeah, you're carrying all these burdens, Jemmy. Jemmy Gems. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's been a lot of conflict here. Um, but be patient. Okay, your ships are going to come in. Drop those burdens, right? Move past this energy. Thank you. Yeah. Again, a lot of regret and sadness with this Five of Cups. All of these people have their back turned. This one. This one. This one. The three wands. And then this one. Isn't that interesting? And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, so again, this is about balance and this communication and honesty here. Gemini page of wands try to stay balanced try not to argue or fight yeah you want to move forward very patiently here very slowly taking your time um communicating clearly show me the potential outcome nine of wands yes you're a little defensive here but you're working hard right making something new here like balancing the scales right because we got the nine of wands which can be the wounded warrior right but she's instead of being behind these wands she's standing on top of them and using it to fuel her do you see that and this one this eight of pentacles he's writing he's writing his experiences or possibly journaling or coming up with ideas and here we have Justice, Libra and Energy, balancing the scales. We have Page of Wands, which can indicate passionate communication coming in, right? Because it's coming in right on this Eight of Wands as well. Um, and Knight of Coins and Six of Coins do indicate some type of solid, like solid 
type of um, communication that is balanced here. Wow. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Somebody is not only burdened, they feel betrayed, like their back has been turned on them. Whew. It's a lot here. So, um, but you can potentially, you know, take this energy and turn it around to fuel, um, better opportunities and for the scales to balance. This could, um, definitely indicate, um, you know, big, big changes. Um, wow. Wow. Let me see what else here. Oh, I'm trying to get an oracle here. Alignment, yes. This card 18, it's alignment. This reduces to a nine. This is a 10, and then the 6 and the 3 add to 9. This is an 11, 10, lots of 10s, lots of 5s. Um, but this alignment, this is um, showing a balancing of each chakra, as well as this a playful harmony, a happiness, right? Trying to uplift your spirit and the way you're feeling, right? Because by instead of where'd that go instead of looking at the nine of wands as the wounded warrior sorry excuse me having their walls up right you can use that to your advantage right write your ideas down journal right work on uh balancing the scales here this could definitely in involve like uh a big change okay a reunion a divorce um you know, it can be harmony coming in after heartache and loss, or it can be vice versa, okay? So it's really going to depend on where each of you are, right, in your path, how this is playing out, all right? But just make sure to, you know, be focused on balancing your energy, staying high vibe and positive, and you're going to move out just fine. You're going to be very balanced, and you're going to have solid offers coming in and, and fiery, spicy communications, okay? So... Um, if you're waiting for messages, they will be coming, okay? Um, and I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you guys back next time. All right, much love to you all. Bye.